Hello viewers, welcome to episode 3 of Make a Living on a Small Farm. It's your favorite farmer here, Farmer Alfie. As promised, today I'm on my farmland and as you can see behind me, it's close to a 6 acre farmland. And I want to use the opportunity to share with you 7 important factors you should consider when selecting a site just like this for a farmland. As you already know, land or soil forms the basics of organic production and is one of the most important items in regards to farming, whether it being crop or animal. Therefore, a good site selection is the key to a successful farming enterprise. Okay, so let's say you are a beginner farmer and you have acquired some knowledge about farming and probably some skills about farming as well. Now, your next step is to acquire a site for a farmland. The question is, can you tell a good site or can you tell a good farmland when you should see one? Well, if your answer is no, then please carefully listen to these seven important factors I'm about to share so that you can make the right choice in terms of selecting a good site. Now let's look at the factors. The first factor you'd want to consider is edaphic factors. Edaphic factors relate to soil conditions such as its structure, its fertility, its texture, its porosity, its consistency, etc. These soil conditions I've just mentioned will determine how successful your farming enterprise will be, being it crop or animal. Land with clay soil may be suitable for, let's say, fish farming. There are other lands that are prone to flooding and erosion. But the good thing is, when you put in some investment, you'll be able to turn it into a, a suitable farming enterprise. However, if you have in mind to set up a crop farm, maybe like vegetable or crop, then such lands will not be suitable for you and you should avoid them because they will not favor your crop. All right, good. So the second factor you want to consider will be climatic factors. So climatic factors more relate to rainfall, humidity, wind pressure and direct temperature and the rest. All these conditions must be favorable to the farming enterprise you choose, being it crop or animal. And one thing you should also know is that different kinds of crops do well under certain climatic range of conditions, likewise animals as well. So it is important to consider these factors, especially the ones that will benefit your farm enterprise and avoid the ones that will not benefit your farm enterprise. The third factor I will talk about is biotic factors. And biotic factors more relate to the presence or the absence of some harmful or beneficial organisms in the soil. In site selection for farming purposes, you may want to consider a natural population of certain organisms and pollinators like bees and also a fewer disease causing organisms or microorganisms in the soil i mean to an appreciable extent where your farming involves tree crops setting up your farmland in the forest area will be better and one key note here is that you should also avoid areas with history of disease and pest outbreak for a long period of time. Also, be careful in choosing a site with certain dominant trees because they might be very difficult to control. The fourth factor to consider will be the environment. Yes, your farming operation should not affect the environment in any way because certain farming activities when exposed to humans or animals will endanger them. And this is usually the case when you site your farm close to urban areas. On the other hand, the environment may also have a negative effect on your farm, thereby reducing your productivity. Yes, for, for instance, there are some farms which have been forced to move or change their mode of operation because urban development and settlement is catching up with them, and so they have to move or change their, their plan altogether. So it is therefore very important to consider this factor in selection of your site for farming. The fifth factor I would consider is socioeconomic factor. Socioeconomic factors include infrastructure, population, settlement, market, health, labor, 
and a lot more. Infrastructure includes access roads, electricity, water, telecommunication, health facility and security. The presence of these amenities makes it a good site to situate your farmland. For instance, with all these conditions, you are you are favorable to set up a poultry farm because you need more security and access to market, which is an important factor here. However, its nearness to an urban settlement may make it unsuitable to site your farm there because it will cause harm to the population around. Some farm ventures require presence of security, others require the presence of health facilities around them, and probably early market as well. But depending on the plan you have for your farm, you may be able to decide which ones of these conditions will favor you and which in the absence of also might not favor your project. The seed factor I will talk about will be government policies. And this is one of the factors that most beginner farmers or even advanced farmers don't pay much attention to. Yes, because every government puts in place certain policies to promote their agriculture agenda during their regime. So as a beginner farmer or advanced farmer, I would wish you would want to take advantage of such policies and set up your farm close to and benefit from it. For instance, there could be tax waivers on some agro input in a certain sector or zone of the country, which you feel when you evolve or set up around there, you might take advantage of this policy and also do a good farming there. Again, there might also be subsidies on fertilizers for a certain area. So setting your farm around these areas will help you also benefit from such policies. Also, government may probably increase the allocation of subsidized fertilizers for a certain region or area or community zone based on how their outputs are being measured annually. So if you get to hear of such policies, why not? You can take advantage of it and set up your farm around such areas to also benefit from such policies. The seventh and final factor I will share will be economic factor. Yes, if you want your agribusiness to succeed, then probably this is the most important factor you should consider. This has to do with the cost, benefit, and terms of the lease or acquisition of the land. You need to carry out a feasibility study of the site to make sure that it will yield enough returns to sustain the farm. When you do this, it will give you an idea and enough knowledge to know if the site you selected will give you the highest return comparing it to all the other six factors I've mentioned. So, viewers, these are my seven most important factors to consider before you select a site for a farmland. Before I sign off on this episode, I would want you to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification button, like and share this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye from Farmer Alpha.